there's always noise on the main. It's it's produced by I don't know. It's produced by machines. It's produced by motors. It's produced by computers. Um, but there's always noise on the mains. And for those of you who may have seen the little tiny EMI filters that are in the front end of electronic equipment, they're there to stop the noise coming out of the computer. They're not there to stop the noise going in. They don't. They're to stop it going out. And they don't always work very well. So what this device does is it listens for the noise and it translates it, if you like, down into an audible sound. So if I turn this on, you'll hear this noise that's translated to an audible sound actually on the mains. And there it is there. That's the, that's the noise that this is, this is picking up. So if we've got a filter that's any good, what it should do is filter out the noise as well as the surge. I hope we switch it on. It is on. You can hear a tiny bit of noise there as well, but now it's it's the filter has removed the noise. Now something like that Belkin unit doesn't have any filtering. It's only just got um, MOVs in it, so it will net let the noise through. But a proper filter should be able to filter the noise out. And that's what this one does. OK, so that's, that's the difference. That the 63 amp filter and the big filters are designed specifically to filter lightning and, and, no, and, and surges. They'll filter some noise. They'll filter harmonics and they'll filter some noise. But right downstream in front of your electronics, this filter here provides the last and final stage of, of filtering. So not only do you need to have to think about where am I going to put all my surge protection, you need to think about where have I got really sensitive equipment. Like, for example, thinking of hi-fi equipment, of course, having, been, having visited Mervyn shop, but also computer rooms, um, server rooms communications rooms and that sort of thing, where you might put a final stage of protection for it.